Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can install iOS 13 beta onto your iPhone or the iPad using the Windows uh, PC. Now you see, um, on a Mac computer, um, you need to, in order to install the iOS 13 beta, normally you require to use a Mac computer. On your Mac computer, you either need to run the latest Xcode 11. Now, uh, with this Mac here, I can only update it to version 9.2, so I, I cannot meet the requirements. And you can see that uh, on the Mac here, you also need to run the latest uh, Mac OS, which uh, this Mac OS is running version 10.12.6, which is also not good enough to actually um, run Xcode 11, and it's not good enough, uh, good enough for you to upgrade to iOS. 13. Now luckily there is a software you can actually do it on uh, on Windows PC. So on a Windows PC we need to download this tool called Tree U Tools and these tools allow us to flash uh, files to the phone. Now I have connect, uh, connected the iPhone 7 already to my uh, computer and on the computer once you connect it it will tell you that your device is connected and then it will show you some of, uh, some information about your phone under the i device tab and there it is so what you want to do is you want to uh, click on flash and jb so click on that and then uh, the cool thing about this uh, uh, software is that you can actually download beta uh, version here as well so the latest uh, version is 12.3 uh, right here and it is also a beta version 13 Peter, and you can uh, actually download it within this software so you don't need to actually go download the files anywhere else uh, if you have already downloaded the files um, somewhere else you can actually click on the input button and input that uh, IP uh, SW files okay so here my phone because I have already downloaded the file beforehand to make things faster so I'm just going to click on the input button right over here and then I will go to the folder and here's the files that I have downloaded so there it is so I'm just going to click on that and uh, it is verifying up to 5000 percent so whatever it is doing there is verifying the file so it's imported already and then I'm going to click on this flash button now before we go ahead on your phone if you have some uh, important data uh, you should back them up first to your computer just in case later you need to go back and uh, to, uh, go back to the previous version or you need to restore your data at least it's there on your computer because uh, this is a beta version so we don't know what happened what's going on so if you flash it you know uh, things could go wrong and you could lose all your data uh, on your phone so just back up your phone before we start flashing now again if you don't have uh, if you don't have uh, the file already downloaded to your computer so here I have this um, file already downloaded but if you haven't got it you can uh, click on the download buttons and once it is uh, imported I'm going to click on the flash button right here and so a good connection between the i device and PC could improve the flashing success rate. So please use a genuine USB cable. So that's fine. So here it is. So it's a flashing uh, software, iOS 12.3.1, upgrade to version 13. And I'm going to do that. And so retain data. Yes, so we're going to retain the data. And then I'll click on the flash button. And here it is. It's a detecting type. So it's two percent, and we wait and see what's going on. Okay, now it's just extracting the software and entering recovery mode at ten percent. So here it is. The phone is now going to recovery mode. Uh, there it is sending kernel cache to the phone and it said restoring so the phone is now restoring there is a progress bar right here now again you do not need to download the IPSW file you should be able to download directly from within the software so that is really cool uh, make things a lot uh, easier so it's not 20% writing system files or file system to the device. So it's progressing a little bit right there. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, initially, when I try to install iOS, I um, try to download the software on my Mac, and I realized the Xcode couldn't be updated to the latest version. So I have to find an alternative, and I find this software is really cool, allowing you to install that uh, file directly onto your phone. So you can do the same thing with your uh, iPad, uh, provided that iPad is uh, allowed to update to iOS 13. So it's at 80% now, updating Stockholm. So this whole process uh, takes only around 5 to 10 minutes. It doesn't take very long to update, provided that you have already downloaded the files. If the file is not downloaded, then it will take a, a lot longer because it needs to first download the file onto your computer before the flashing can begin. But once you have the, the, the download files, it only takes 5 to 10 minutes to uh, flash your phone up to the latest iOS 13 beta. Okay, so shortly, it's, you will see it says, Congratulations, retain data flash completed, and then click on OK. And then the phone will um, reboot. So once it reboot, it will reboot with an Apple logo right here. I'm just going to click OK over here. So please connect our device to PC. So we need to disconnect and connect it again. And over here, I'm guessing it's just going to reboot and verify the files that has just been flashed to the phone. So we're just going to wait for that to uh, finish. Okay, it's nearly finishing here. All the way near to the end. So just a couple of more seconds now. And that's it, so that's finished. So we're just gonna go in and I'm just gonna go into settings and then go into general about and here you can see it's a software version 13. So this 13 beta and that's it. So that's how you can uh, uh, upgrade or install your phone to uh, version uh, 13, iOS 13. So I'm just checking here because uh, with the latest uh, iOS 13, uh, when you press on the volume buttons, you can see on the side here, it can uh, increase and decrease the volumes with a slider bar. Now you also have this light mode and dark mode. You can uh, it's in uh, display settings, and then in here you can also uh, set dark mode and light mode automatic. So we automatically, and you can also uh, also have the options to use uh, dark mode, sunset to sunrise, or custom schedules. You can also increase or decrease the brightness of that of the dark mode. So there it is. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.